Okay. So now here try to understand. Service is listening on. So here the host value, host value at this uh, IP address and this port number both will be dynamically added here. This is what formatted string. Always formatted string will be start with the F and then quotation marks start with it. Okay. So within this quotation marks, you need to keep the string type of data. It is customized for customized means as per uh, as per user uh, as per user choice. Myself, I want to get this uh, output as server is listening on this port to be port dynamically and port, port number and IP address of this host uh, host means computer. They will be added here. So this is called a formatted string. I, I am mentioning here. This is what formatted string. Formatted string. Okay. Now. Next. So here. I want to use the while loop. Why I, I am using a while loop? Try to understand this. Uh, that is for while loop, infinite while loop I am using. While loop must be terminated with the column. While loop, true. I am, uh, I am using the Boolean value here. Okay, that is infinite loop here. So here, what I am, I want to write here, C O N N dot unn dot what address address that is equal to what this much of code that is what your socket 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 dot okay server socket dot server this is our socket socket why it is giving error socket underscore socket underscore server dot whenever you keep the dot operator you will get all these methods this method we will use here accept method so what what is the role of this method try to understand this accept method is the class method of socket class socket class is part of your socket module and that method accept listen bind bind method all these are the methods of socket class they will be they are the object methods they can be accessed only creating of the object object i have created initially so now try to understand that this accept method what it does it will establish the connection with the establish the connection with the establish the connection with whom client establish the connection with the client okay with client okay with client now so whenever connection is established with the client okay we have given the permission up to 5 uh, clients. So whenever a connection is established, this method it returns what this method returns connect accept method accept method returns what returns new socket a new socket of client. And address, address of client, address of client. Okay. Who will return this accept method whenever it means um, by this work? Okay, the accept method waits for the waits to establish a connection, waits to establish the connection with the client with client. So whenever connection established, this accept return returns, what returns? Returns a new socket of client, okay? That socket is this one, C-O-N-N. -N. So 
why it is giving error? It we need to pass two parameters. That's why it is giving error. The no dot. These are two parameters. We need to put them separation. So one is that word, that new socket. That new socket is myself. I am I am keeping a variable here. So that new socket will be stored in this variable. Address is a variable. So now this accept method returns the socket of that client address. So that socket uh, will be stored in this variable and address. You keep anything, yeah? simply you write ADD or CONN connection, C simply if you keep C uh, only. But C, what is the meaning of C? There's no any meaning. No? So, so you write like, so new socket, huh? these are two variables. Oh. Who will return? Accept method will return two values. Uh, that is a new socket of client. So means no, the server will communicate with this socket of uh, the client. Okay. Because this is the server socket. No? This is the server socket created for the server side. So now the server it needs another socket of the client socket to communicate. Okay. Client side socket and the server side socket. Oh, next. Next word. So you simply you write here print bracket. Okay. Put a string type of data here. You can write, you can you can put a statement like string type get connection from. You can write this whenever a uh, client is connected you can get this string as get connection from client address you put client address here you put the if whenever you keep the client address that client address will be displayed as a printout okay so here we are giving the ip address as 120 loopback address if you are getting from 192 dot uh, 10.5.3. So you will get the client address 192.10. Whatever the address. After that, now if I will, whenever I will get the data from the client, so whenever if I am getting the data from the client, okay, so the data will be, we will keep in a while block, while true. While true means I will explain why I'm keeping while true here. So this is one, this while true. So whenever data, so data is what it is a variable created. Data is a variable created to store what. So the data which is being received from a client. Okay. So data we are receiving from where, which socket, which socket, client socket. So now, C underscore socket. Otherwise, you write client underscore socket. As you wish, huh? this socket I am defining here, client socket. So whenever you write the program for the client, that moment you need to define the, declare the client socket like this. Okay, as it is. Huh? Now dot. So that client socket client underscore socket it has a method it has a method but i am not getting anything why because i have not here only socket for server created no any socket created for the client that's why whenever you keep dot so whenever socket is created no, that socket means what it is object created for the client so here i have not created any object for the client that's why you will not get anything but you write that one method is there that method is what received so whenever this method will be used as a in client programming okay so so once you are receiving the data from the client so 1024 bytes this data is what you are um, commenting here bytes of data 
1024 bytes of data you are receiving. So this much of limit you have kept here. So 1024 bytes of data you are receiving from receiving from client socket. Okay. So that is stored in where data. It is a variable. Okay. Now you write if black here, if if what if not data what means if not data means what if block to be terminated with the colon means if there is no any data then if there is no any data break yourself break understood that if data is there break if data is true if data is there no data if not break if data is there so the data uh, will be received from client okay by this receive method the data it has a limit 1024 bytes that will be stored in this variable okay now come down so whenever data is received from the client client to server okay then that will be echo back echo back means what echo back means will will be sent back will be echo back means try to understand received data received data what do you mean by echo back received data server is receiving data from client so whenever server received that data will be backed sent back to echo back received data to client So that client can understand that whatever the data I am sending, that is, if I am receiving, so same data properly sent to the server. So for the confirmation, echo back received data. Echo back means what? Send back. You write here send back. Huh? Simply you write here send back. Received data to client. Okay. Now, so for that, we need to use a method here. We need to use a method. That is what we need to use the client underscore client underscore because our uh, client socket is what? Client underscore socket dot client underscore socket dot send all method. You will not get any method here. You will not get any method. Why? Because the client socket has not declared. So this will we will create in the uh, receive uh, that is what um, client client uh, client program. Now it is server program. After that I will explain the client client program. So now here client underscore socket dot. You write here send all method send all. So pass by that method data so whatever the data okay that uh, receiving from the client that will be sent back to client again as a echo back send back by this method okay now after that you need to do what you need to connection dot close by this method connection dot close CONN, I told you that this is where I am using CONN. It is a socket. That is socket. That socket is not server socket. That is the client socket. So the client socket will be closed. Client socket will be closed. After that, if you want to keep a message like what you know, if you want to write here, print uh, with the connection, uh, client is terminated. Here also you can use formatted string. I told you that formatted string start with the F and this is the quotation marks. This, there is, there is no any gap here. So if you, you use the one white space, it will give error. Always this open quotation marks must be, must, must be very near to, there is no any gap expected here. After that connection with you, right? Like this connection with whom? Client, client underscore, client underscore address. Where is that address? 
client underscore address. So you write like this, um, client. Simply you write this address because no need, because I have created the variable as address, connection with address, okay? So this, you need to keep this in flower braces. Okay, after that, now try to understand, address is closed. Closed. So what do you mean of this? Try to understand. So connection with the address, that address will be, this is, I told you that this is a variable which holds the address of what? Your, your whom? Client. Okay. Client socket will be stored here. Okay. And address will be stored. That client address will be automatically added here. So connection with, because we, we are, um, we have passed five connections now, incoming connect, five clients can be connected. So at what time, which client is uh, communicating with the server and uh, which client will be disconnected, that address will be, that address will be displayed here. So this message will display the so which, uh, which client uh, address, which client is uh, discontent, disconnected. Okay, which address, uh, which client's uh, socket. Okay, socket. If socket is closed, client socket is closed. There is no any connection with that client. So this is a while loop, infinite loop, infinite loop, infinite, infinite loop. Okay, within this loop, clients will be continuously communicating whenever client send some stop like message i will write in the client side program okay stop otherwise quit that that moment that client client will be um, disconnected client will be disconnected try to understand that okay now try to let us execute this code whether it will be executed or not let us we need to check back that this is uh, server side if you run server side what is happening Indentation error. In which line indentation? Indentation is what? Try to understand. It is very important. Python, you will get a lot of trouble by indentation. Indentation is nothing but margin errors. This is very important. Huh? So these margin errors, you, they will give a lot of trouble to you. How to short out? Margin, indentation means margin. So now this is while loop. Under this one more while loop here, this while loop used for what? Data. This while loop used for if data is, if there is no any data, so break. Okay, if data is there, that data, okay, that whatever the data will be received from the client that will be stored this in variable. So for this while loop, this while loop used for if address once this by this accept method of your server socket means that object. So once connection is established, so client, so connection established with whom? A client. So client must have a socket. Okay, that socket, whenever client is connected, that client address, they will be stored in these two variables. Okay. So if it is true, so means what? Client connected. So whenever these variables filled with this, parameters, values of client address and client uh, socket. Okay. So that moment, if that means it is true, no? So this, that message will be displayed with the address of that connected client. Okay. Now we need to, here we are getting one red, red mark. Here we are getting one message. It is indicating that it is indicating what it is indicating that is your uh, margin error. So under this margin error, see why it is given. So this print statement and this statement, this print statement, both part of what this while loop, but this print statement out of while loop. So whenever connection is established, no, this print statement, we need to get this print statement with the address, no, connected client address. 
So now you shift this. While writing your code, now maybe you do the mistakes that moment. So now these two lines of code part of this while loop. After that, next while loop, you need to come this data. Okay, this is okay. Now this client, this client underscore socket. This is okay. Now you need to, you need to, okay, you need to put these under not these two statements they are not under if black they are under this inner while loop inner while loop you come down here and you adjust this print statement that you write here print okay now 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 what what uh, what is uh, what do you mean of this Why you are getting error here? Client underscore why C underscore socket client underscore socket dot end. Why I want to know simply I have kept here. What is under the reference client? Okay, we will create the client program. There's no any problem. Then it will, I think, it will not give error. This much of code I have written. Okay. Now, if, if I run this code, server side, run this code, type a socket dot takes exactly one argument. So there is no an issue. So after that, if I'm I am going to write the code for client side. So now don't waste your time here and to take uh, a new project a new file you take new file file new word new python file na? we need to get here okay So that uh, okay. Now okay. Now I'm going to take one more. Nothing here. I need to first of all let me open new project, new scratch file, new. I want to get one more file. That is what new file. Why I'm not getting new Python file here? I need to get so how do I get this one? Pass, okay. So I write new. No, this is okay. Now I am getting a Python file. You click on this Python file. Now you write client side. Client underscore underscore client underscore side. No, dot py. Py that is compare extension file. Huh? Now you write the code for here, client side. You do one thing. Now what is time here? 9.20. So we will copy the same code. Huh? Why do you want to waste the time here? Okay. You copy all that code. From some code copy. And you paste here. Client side. And paste. Now we will adjust the code. Huh? Same import socket. Okay, that is same as in the client also we need to same, okay. Next is what? Next. So, import say, socket, same module, 
next create object for socket class same thing uh, socket class object name is same construct here we will write socket underscore client huh? socket underscore client you write like this okay socket underscore client that is equal to next word socket dot socket same thing everything is like that huh? because this is for internet domain this is your tcp way client said you are writing okay same host name is equal to this port number is equal to here no this you keep comment here this is because okay now you write socket underscore connect not bind here we will use the socket underscore client client you now you keep dot what method we are accept method huh? here accept method connect method connect method we will use connect method so now you means what do you mean of this by this connect method client will be try to connect with this host address and this port number okay by this kind this connect method uh, user this is object method object method of what socket class that socket class object method will be used by the object created for the client okay now we have passed both the host and port here uh, server server side we need to do some word little bit here we need to put some two brackets here huh? that's that's why it is giving error man so client underscore socket client underscore socket no issue you come side now here and uh, this is okay after that uh, no need of this code listen because client will not listen always server will listen okay uh, this is also client uh, we write client is we can write this as client is uh, connecting is connecting with the host, host means this address and this port. We can write this client is connecting with the host and port format still. Now we will write after this <coughs> one, two, three, four, five. We have uh, this used here while loop here under this while loop. Uh, I don't want to. This is server dot no need of accept method here. Okay, send all method. We keep this okay. Connection dot. Okay, 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 okay. We will take a message here. We will write that message. We will create a you need any message means it's a variable which holds the okay, uh variable which holds the data from the user. So client, whatever client wants to send, that will be taken through the input function of the Python. So that input function, you request user enter, please enter a string. Please enter a, please enter a message, whatever the me message or string, okay, message. Otherwise, uh, we need to write here, put some word, a message type to Type what? What to type exit? Okay. Type what to type here? Out. Yeah. Otherwise, stop. Exit. Any word means whenever you you don't want to send anything. No? So you simply you put out. Otherwise, stop. Otherwise, quit. Whatever. Simply. Simply, you need to put what out. Out for what to stop. Stop sending. Okay. After this, it is uh, open. This is uh, okay. You need to you need to keep what after this one. Okay. Now close this. Now what happened means you are requesting from the client. Please send a message. Otherwise, send a message. Otherwise, if you want to stop. Uh, type out otherwise uh, 
stop otherwise quit whatever okay which gives the meaning of stop out okay it indicates that client is not sending anything okay after that no need of this this is written for server side i have written this code for the server side next uh, print get connection from address okay no need of this all no need of while loop also one while loop that is enough next is what so whenever now you write the code like this uh, uh, server socket dot underscore client uh, underscore client underscore client dot what method we need to use here socket underscore client okay send all method send send all method send all method so by that send all method what happened this message will be what happened message dot encode what happened try to understand this one so whatever the message we are getting from the client that will be sent to the socket of client by this method and that method it is a string string has a method encode method string has a encode method so whenever you keep simply message message i told you that message is a variable string variable that string variable always holds the string type of data that can that has the methods if you put the dot operator nothing you are getting no issue you write this as message encode encode is what so encode means to encode whatever the message you are getting from here, that message that is to be encoded. And that by this send all method that will be sent to the client. Okay. Now, next, you write like this. While, okay, socket underscores. So, you will get the margin error. You need to keep this under while loop. Okay. Next word, you remove this code, no need. If message dot lower, we will write the code like this here, okay? So if message, message is what? Message dot lower, lower. Lower is a method, okay? Lower method. So, I will write here is equal to what the message I have written for out to stop out is equal to out. Out means what? Try to understand. So I need to put in a string type of. Okay. And okay. What do you mean of the if your message, this type of message out, it means break. Break means what? Means if client using out out means stop so if message dot message is uh, suppose that is in lower case suppose in, it is in lower case out so that is to be the message to be sending is that is to be break now no 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 okay no need of this all this okay we this is for what we have written for what we will keep this formatted string we will remove this total code and after that here we will keep a variable here data data is equal to data is a variable that variable holds the data receiving from the client okay data not receiving uh, whatever we are uh, that is what client is sending na? so that client sending the message that is to be stored in this variable 
so that variable created for what socket dot underscore client client okay dot receive it has a method okay this method stores up to 1024 bytes and 1024 bytes now take print okay now what happen you put the statement like this received from where received from server okay server that moment you put data here data dot decode data dot decode this method you use here okay after that this method received from server this data this is also formatted string now try to understand what is happened this print statement that is to be put under this if black. Okay. Now, after that, you close this socket. What socket? Socket client. Socket dot client under close. Socket under dot close. Close method. Use close to close the client socket. No. So here socket uh, underscore. That's why you know, it is giving you. again dot you need to underscore. Okay. Now it is okay. Now why it is giving error? Try to understand. Your socket for client, it is socket underscore client. Everywhere you have used this one. But under this, as it is, you need to client side, you need to do what? Socket underscore client. You need to change here. Socket wherever um, socket underscore client huh? socket underscore client here this is what you need to do what socket underscore client okay now Try, try here. Need to, we need to check back all the things. So then, first of all, come down here. This is for server side programming. So under this server side, what I want to say here, we need to check back that whether the code will be executed or not. Here, C underscore socket. C underscore socket means client side socket. No issue, receive, okay. Socket underscore client. Okay, client. Okay, socket underscore client. Okay, okay, okay. If I, if I want to run this server side, uh, what happened? Server is listening. So, see, what here, your server side, you are executing this one huh? your server side what you are executing so you close this one you close this one you close this one and uh, you run this code server side server side okay so now you are getting what you are getting means your server is listening on what this this address and this port if you run the client side programming so you you terminate this session okay and you run this client side so whatever indentation error in our client side server side is okay we need to adjust the client side program what what uh, indentation is what i told you that indentation means margin so margin is very important this is while infinite loop for client side and uh, no need the uh, infinite loop. We need to write like this, okay? Otherwise, no niche, okay? Next, you need, okay? Now, here, that is what, as I told you, that is very important. This indentation means margin. 
So this margin, this up to this, okay. Now this, if black, we need to adjust this under this, under this uh, message socket, if black, all they need to be adjusted properly. Eh? And data, and data, where is that data? That is data that is to be put under if black. This is very important. Otherwise, you will get errors. Okay. Now, no, now you, you know. Now you run this code. Huh? You run client side. Now type error. Socket dot connect takes exactly one argument, two given. So where is this error? I told you that this type of in the previous class also. Uh, on Sunday class, you try to understand. At this at this time, I was getting this type of error. Huh? Uh, argument to given okay understand uh sunday sunday means what today is uh, 22 and sunday last session na? friday saturday uh, last friday saturday, sunday 17th 17th that day i was um, writing the code i have written the code for server side that moment uh almost 9 50 class was uh, class at the time going to be finished that moment, this error I, I got on. I told you that, sir, I tried. After that, I will come on 22 of, uh, now today is 22. We will, connect, we will connect on 22 Friday of this December. So I will sort out that. So initially, I, I told you how to sort out this code. Huh? Here, what I did here for this, where is that socket programming? Here, I have put the two, two brackets here. Two brackets, huh? Under SAS. Uh, last 17th you correct this code otherwise you, uh, then if you will not these two brackets you will get the error like this this you will get the error like this okay so now here i need to put one more bracket here okay one more bracket now you try to run this code now try to understand Connection refused error. No connection could be made because the target machine actively refused it. Why it is refusing? Okay, we need to we need to the we need to clear this screen. Okay, why it is giving error? Because we need to check back that whether we have written any code error is there. Okay, this is the because socket client socket server okay you do one thing i need to check back so whenever this is what i have written the code for clients this is what for which side this is server side so server side first of all let me check that code mm, this is what na? this is the server side code under this server side code Okay. Hmm. Server side, this is socket underscore. This is okay. Uh, socket server. Okay. So, no issue. As I told you that um, on Friday, uh, last 17th, no? 17th of December, some problem same thing like uh, that is what written for that moment written the code written for what socket programming connection oriented same but that moment ip address loopback address i have not used so that moment uh host name will be taken okay so i told you that for this server side program you need to write uh, keep this program in one mission and client program in another machine, another computer, machine means computer. So if I use the loopback address, so one computer can be used to check back. Your uh, same computer having both the uh, server side program and client program. But here, if you use this type of program, you need to keep two machines, server program in one computer and the client program in another computer. So today I have modified the code like this. I am using here loopback address. So you were same uh, in same computer, you were server program. Today we have written the server program and the client program. Two programs I have written. Okay. Now you whenever you use this, 
message we will not because server is responding your server is whenever you run this code uh, server is where is server if you run this code server is responding so whenever server is respond server is waiting for the client connection whenever client is uh, connected so whatever the message you will send that will be reached to the server because server will listen on this rp address under port whenever client send any message uh, that message will be taken by the input mm, function by this input function so whenever client sends any message that will be taken by input function and store this message this variable and that message whatever the data stored in the variable that will be that will be encoded okay and by this method of your server uh, client socket means object so by this method that will be sent to server so okay so uh, that will be sent to server okay so if there is uh, if out message is there if client is sending any out message so so connection will be broken okay so whatever that that data that is being sent by the client that will be the up to data limit 1024 bytes okay so whenever data received by the server so that will be sent back as a echo so whenever you are receiving your message from loopback address means your message is being sent to the server and that is being received from loopback address. as i told you that no and loopback address so whenever you ping loopback address loopback address is what to so ping ping is a short for Packet, packet internet go for so it is ping if you have put that address 127.0.0.1 .0 so what it means that from your computer for uh, how many 30, 32 bytes of data 32 bytes of data will be sent 32 bytes of the every packet having four packets will be sent each packet will be having 8 bytes. So 8 into 4, 32 bytes of data. So 32 bytes of data will be sent from your computer and that will be sent up to your port. What is your port? Where is that? Uh, 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 this is loopback address. No? So up to that IP address, it is loopback address. From there, it will be sent back, receiving back. So four packets, each packet having eight bytes, eight into 32 bytes of data sent, 32 bytes, time less than one millisecond hack taken, TTL, time to live. So time to live means within this time, this packet will be in the networking. So within this 128 milliseconds of the time, what, how much of time? Milliseconds of the time. So packets, if they are not able to reach the destination, they will be discarded discarded okay these are all you will study in the routing so time to live means within the given time 128 milliseconds these packets to be reached to the destination okay so our uh, packets 32 um, bytes okay four packets are reached within less than one millisecond to the loop back from the sender to receiver so same mission you are sending same mission you are receiving so we will sort out this almost what is time 9 42 so we will sort out this on okay where on uh, next saturday we will meet uh, 9 40 it is working i will sort out this code okay now have a nice day Server side, circuit server, circuit server, circuit server. Connection. This is what client underscore circuit. C underscore circuit. No? C underscore circuit. You write this as C underscore 
contains C underscore address socket underscore server socket dot socket dot socket underscore bind socket underscore server C underscore socket C underscore address underscore server socket underscore server this is okay dot accept now here C underscore address C underscore address okay now you come down here data is equal C underscore socket C underscore socket C underscore socket closed okay now address C underscore address okay Now everything is you have written the code from server side. Okay. Now where should you terminate this one? Stop server one. Stop all. Okay. Now server side is okay. Your and your client side what? C underscore socket. Okay. Now you run this code from your connection. No connection be made. The target machine already refused it. Okay, no issue. You close this one. Okay. You where is server side? This is server side. Server. Okay. Server socket. Server circuit, server circuit, okay. Server circuit, dot circuit, server understand. <laughs> Uh, I pin So now uh, this code, this is executed. So try to understand. So as I told you that what happened, you need to do what? Please a message, send a message, yeah? type out to stop. So if you put out, uh, client connection will be discontinued. If you send anything that will be loop back to you. Hello, how are you? 
how are you so see mm. hello how are you what happened please you must type out subject send all messages and put that a bytes like object is required not built in function or method which play line put in line put in c underscore socket server at active except in module c socket send all message message and put send all We did a mistake here. It is a method. So you need to put the parenthesis here. Okay. Otherwise, you will get the error. Okay. Try to understand. It is a method. Na? So now you close this one. And now you try to first run the server side. First run the server side. So server is listening on this address and port. And now run the client client app. Okay. So try to understand for this 127.0.0. Loopback address, you are running two apps, server side app and server client side. Both are same mission. Here you put any message. How are you? Okay. That is to be loop back to you. That is to be okay. So same thing. How are you? That this message, how are you sent to the server? And uh, that same message received from server as it is. Okay, if you send, um, are you okay? Now this message sent from where? From client to, because this is client term. No? Client is connecting with the same loopback address and port number. Client is connected. Okay, connected. Okay, Link after to. that, whenever you send, this message will okay. send to server. Server, after that, that will be echo back, received from server, same message. Okay, so whenever you keep um, pitch, okay, pitch means connection will be closed. Understood that? You would terminate this one, you run from server side, one more side. Server is running and you run this client application here. If whenever you out, out means, okay, out means closed. 10 minutes are there. Okay, now this is our um, server side, na? server side, client side. See, in server side, you need to understand what one socket is created for the the socket is what server side socket. Okay, we are clearly mentioning that this is internet domain and uh, for a TCP protocol. Post loop address, loop back address I have given port number. Okay, this port no need here. So now what happened? These port number and IP address, loopback address, both are bind with the, this is the method of your, this object created for the server. So this bind method by this, this will be bound to an IP address, uh, socket, server socket. After that, server, server is listening, okay, for incoming connections, client connections. We have given the permission up to queue of five clients, okay. Now, server is listening on this particular IP address and port. You will get this message. A true, matala while loop used for infinite loops uh, means clients will be connected and uh, whenever they will uh, put a message out, he will disconnected. Maybe another client may be connected. So here, this by this accept method, that is the method of your this object so what it does it will establish a connection with the clients so whenever connection is established this accept method returns a socket of the client which is which client is connected that socket will be con given and that client address both will be stored in this variable c underscore address client address client socket okay every time client 
socket and address may be changed because you have given five permission here, maybe 25 clients. So every time whenever client is sending and after that not sending, so another client will be connected. That client's socket will be, every time the socket will be changed and address will be changed. Okay. Now what happened? You will get this message. This is what client address. Client address, whomever connected. So now, whenever client is connected, the data will be received. Okay, that data that is equal to through the client socket, na? the client socket dot receive. So this much of data, 1024. Okay, the client from the client data is being received. That is what the data is being received through client socket. Okay, and that will be stored in this variable. Okay. So if there is no any data, so the connection will be broken. So that data will be sent back to client again. Echo back means send back, receive data from the client, that received data sent back to client through this method, send all method. Huh? So now the data variable I have passed here, that data will be sent to who, which socket, client socket again. The, the data which is receiving from client socket to the server that will be stored in this variable that will be sent back to client socket again as a send back. So that's why a client will see that message, whatever I am sending that I am receiving, sending as it is uh, properly. Okay. Is there any um, mistakes in the, my message, whether whatever I am sending Maybe all messages are being received properly to check back that. Look at now, socket closed. Whose socket? Client socket. This, after that, this um, formatted string within this connection with client address. Which address? Which IP address client is being disconnected, closed? This is written for what? Your client side, uh, server side. Now, client, come the client side. Here, same import socket. This is a module. I told that module has a class socket. That class has a method, the constructor. Within this, I have mentioned here, this is internet domain-based socket programming for TCP protocol. And that one socket created for your client. You can keep anything for this is an object. You can keep C, my name, your name, X, Y, Z, for, you, uh, for understanding. Uh, C underscore other way client underscore socket. So whatever you keep here, that is to be updated in your server side. Otherwise, you will get the errors. C underscore socket. Here I have used the client side object socket. C underscore socket. So once it is used here, declared and host name, same port number. Same port number you have. If you change the port number, you will get your server and client will not communicate. Same port number. Okay, blue pack address. Okay, now for this socket, this is a method, this connect method. Now client tries to connect with, by this connect, connect method, this client socket tries to connect with this host and port. Okay, this host address and port number by this connect method, this is the object method of socket class, okay, accessed by the object, this object. So now client tries to connect with this host address and port number. After that, whenever they are being connected, you will get this message. Client is connected with the this address and port number. So loop, within this loop, while loop used here, a variable used here with message and this message so requesting for user to send a message. So normally in Python, input function will be used to uh, receive input from the user. In uh, Java, we will use scanner class. Okay. So whatever user sends, that will be stored in this message variable. If user types out, the connection will be disconnected. Uh, connection between the server and client disconnected. Now what happened? Now, whatever client is being sent that will be stored in this variable, that variable message to be encoded. Okay. 
encoded to send to a whom server. Okay. If message is lowercase out, so communication will be broken. Okay. So whatever the message to be sent, okay, that is what up to 1024. Okay. 1024 means this is what whenever 